recent disaster that happened one week ago. Several parts of the Houston area were hit with storms that killed eight people and flooded thousands of homes. That one area still reeling from the floods is near the Attics Reservoir, where people are cleaning up and drying out. Channel 2's Joel Eisenbaum is live in Northwest Harris County. And Joel, people are keeping an eye on the reservoir's water levels, we understand. Yeah, and it, they're at the highest they've been, at the highest they're expected to be. We've been keeping a particular eye on this neighborhood, Bear Creek Village, and their fate is tied directly to Attic's Reservoir, which is just south of us. The quicker they can move water out of the dam and into Buffalo Bayou, the better it is. Problem is that forecast this week. They just can't get rid of it fast enough, even with Attics and Barker Reservoirs draining their contents near record rates. In Bear Creek Village, it's still high tide. Stagnant Attics dam water has been pooling and sitting on Mill Hollow Drive for days. If we don't get any more rain, they're, they're uh, at the worst they'll see right now, and it will get better from here on out. But rain forecast as early as Tuesday could be trouble. And if it's very limited rainfall, we'll be able to keep discharging. If the rainfall was to be predicted, uh, uh, heavy rainfall, then we we're going to have to cut back, uh, conceivably way back, and even stop releasing possibly. Attics and Barker dams are right now essentially at their predicted highest levels, and that would be ever. And the rate those dams are emptying into downtown bound Buffalo Bayou almost now matches what's pouring into them from a handful of creeks. And keep in mind, this is a full week since the storm hit. Is yeah. this improvement here? It's 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 more it's better than it was a few days ago. We were really scared, so now we can see that it goes down about an inch or two a day. So that is really good news for us. Now coming up on KPRC Channel 2 News at 6, does it seem like we're having a 100-year flood every year or two? And how about homes that are flooding that have never been in floodplains before? We're going to take a closer look at those issues at 6. For now, we're live on the northwest side. I'm Joel Eisenbaum, KPRC Channel 2 News.